ocular melanoma is the most common primary malignancy, malignant cancer um, in the uh, adult population. And uh, when people, when patients um, hear about melanoma, they immediately think of skin melanoma. However, intraocular melanoma is different from skin melanoma. Um, it arises from the um, vascularized portion of the eye that's called uvea. So the uvea is the layer of the eye that contains blood vessels. Um, this is why sometimes patients will also hear about uveal melanoma. The vascularized portion of the eye also contains melanocytes, which are the cells that give rise to melanoma. Intraocular melanoma is a condition that affects both males and females equally. It tends to occur more frequently in the sixth decade of life. However, um, it is a condition that has been diagnosed in people younger and older than that. And it tends to have a preference for fair-skinned individuals. For skin melanoma, there's a clear association with sunlight exposure. This is not clearly been proven for ocular melanoma. The diagnosis is made by an ocular oncologist that is an eye doctor that specializes in eye cancers. It is a clinical diagnosis, meaning that based on the exam by the ocular oncologist, the diagnosis will be made. Uh, we often use ancillary testing, which includes uh, photographs of the back of the eye, as well as optical coherence tomography, which is a, um, a similar type of photography but that gives cuts through the retina through the back of the eye and another important test that we always get is ultrasonography so that's an ultrasound of the eye and that helps us distinguish intraocular melanoma from other conditions that may simulate that in the back of the eye sometimes if the diagnosis is not completely clear or the ocular oncologist cannot make a definitive di diagnosis based on clinical examination and imaging alone an intraocular biopsy uh, will be taken There are multiple treatments for intraocular melanoma. The main stain of treatment is radiotherapy. This can be delivered in multiple ways. Here at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, we treat this with plaque brachytherapy. Plaque brachytherapy is a localized form of radiotherapy that ensures delivery of the radiation to the cancer and it tries to spare the healthy tissues surrounding the cancer. It is a surgical procedure. This radioactive plaque is sutured to the wall of the eye next to the tumor. Um, it's then left in place for two to three days depending on the size of the tumor and is then removed. Other forms of radiation are possible um, such as proton beam radiotherapy or, um, extra, or external beam radiotherapy um, in case the tumor is too large to be treated with plaque brachytherapy or the location is not favorable for plaque brachytherapy. In very advanced cases where the tumor is too large to be treated with radiation, um, enucleation, which is um, surgical removal of the eye, might be warranted. This is one of the most important questions that our patients ask us. Um, and thankfully, nowadays, we have a way of giving a more precise answer by doing prognostic testing. This is achieved by sampling the tumor through a biopsy. The biopsy is done um, in the operating room. A small sample of the tumor is taken and then is sent for genetic analysis. That means we can analyze either the RNA or the DNA of the tumor. And the genetic makeup of the tumor is going to tell us if this um, cancer is at high risk for spread elsewhere in the body or low risk for spread elsewhere in the body. In addition to the expertise of the ocular oncology team at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, we have close collaboration with other subspecialties that help us in treating ocular cancers, such as the radiation oncology team, as well as the medical oncology team at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center. These are world-renowned experts that um, have access to cutting-edge um, treatment for um, ocular melanoma, as well as Bascom Palmer does. And in addition to that, we carry out cutting-edge research through a dedicated lab for ocular cancers.